His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, at His Majesty's residence in Abu Dhabi on the occasion of his visit to the UAE. Both sides exchanged talks that reflect the strong and special fraternal ties between Bahrain and the UAE, their leadership and peoples, as well as a mutual keenness on continuing to strengthen them to bolster cooperation and coordination, serve the priorities of development and sustainable prosperity in both countries and fulfill the aspirations of their peoples for further progress and prosperity. The meeting was attended by the National Security Advisor, Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council and Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and members of His Majesty the King's delegation. Also present were the Deputy Chairman of the Presidential Court for Special Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Advisor of Special Affairs at the Presidential Court, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Tahnoun Al Nahyan, and Sheikhs and officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the anniversary of the July Revolution. His Majesty the King wished President Assisi good health and happiness and his people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty praised the fraternal bilateral relations and their growth at all levels, affirming the keenness to continue strengthening ties to achieve mutual interests. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Chairman of the Mumtalakat, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on behalf of the members of the Board of Directors and Executive Team of Mumtalakat, and himself congratulating His Majesty on McLaren winning first and second place at the Formula One Hungarian Grand Prix 24. The Minister emphasized that this achievement was a result of the vision and aspirations of His Majesty the King to make achievements that benefit Bahrain and its people and the result of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also noted the efforts of Montalaka team in the planning and implementation to continue developing its work paths to achieve the desired goals. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was congratulated by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of McLaren winning first and second places at the Formula One Hungarian Grand Prix 24. His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahrain's achievements, particularly in motor racing, are the result of His Majesty the King's far-reaching visions and directives to which the Kingdom is committed in order to strengthen Bahrain's position internationally, regionally and locally. He also said that the achievements of McLaren's are just one of many successes thanks to Team Bahrain's solid strategy, successful investment, excellent implementation and ongoing follow-up. His Royal Highness said that this victory reinforces Bahrain's position in motor racing, particularly Formula One, following the Kingdom's success in hosting and organizing the F1 Golf Air Bahrain Grand Prix for 20 years now, transforming it into the home of motorsport in the Middle East. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the anniversary of Revolution Day of Egypt. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister sent a similar cable to Egyptian Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Al Mad Bouli. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of McLaren winning first and second places at the Formula One Hungarian Grand Prix 24. He said the victory was achieved due to Mumtalakat's efforts to further their successful investments and enhance the company's position and brand to contribute to supporting economic diversification efforts and supporting Bahrain's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty the King. 
His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to harnessing all resources and capabilities to continue providing a lucrative environment for investment in all sectors, particularly in sports. He highlighted Bahrain's commitment to further its successful investment in motor racing sports to meet its aspirations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Bahrain's Mumtalakat Holding Company, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of McLaren's winning first and second places at the Formula One Hungarian Grand Prix. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa said that McLaren's global podium success is due to His Royal Highness's efforts to promote and foster motor racing under his his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's leadership. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa said the achievement reflects His Royal Highness's belief in the importance of diversifying investment and Bahrain's commitment to continue strengthening the kingdom's investment environment to attract global investments and create lucrative opportunities that support the national economy in line with Bahrain's goals. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the commander of the U.S. Central Command, General Michael Corilla, at Sakhir Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed the strength of Bahraini-U.S. long-standing relations, which are based on strategic partnership supported by both countries' leadership. The Deputy King highlighted the importance of building on the bilateral partnership to achieve shared goals and interests. He recognized the agreements and memoranda of understanding signed by the two countries, the most recent of which was the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, which bolsters, bolsters cooperation and coordination, particularly within military and defense. His Royal Highness welcomed the commander of the U.S. Central Command and his delegation to Bahrain. The Deputy King emphasized the integral role played by the U.S. along with allied countries in supporting efforts to enhance regional and international security, stability and peace. Various issues of common interest were also discussed. The National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Tayyip bin Sakhar Al Nuhaymi also attended this meeting. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudaybiya Palace today. The cabinet affirmed that the participation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the coronation ceremony of His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim bin Sultan Iskandar as King of Malaysia in response to an invitation received by His Majesty reflects the strong relationship between the two kingdoms and their mutual desire to develop cooperation and coordination to fulfill the aspirations of their people. Peoples. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim as the King of Malaysia and expressed its best wishes for His Majesty's continuous success in carrying out his royal duties. The cabinet affirmed the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister for Bahrain's press, noting the development of Bahrain's press under His Majesty's leadership. It commended the contributions of the Bahraini press and its active role in furthering national development. It also congratulated the winners of the 8th edition of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism, emphasizing that it serves as an incentive for journalists and media personnel to continue their creativity and excellence, which is reflected in the development of the national media and journalism sector. The cabinet then commended the efforts of government authorities led by the Ministry of Interior and the Jafari Waqf Council, as well as the role of heads of MATAM supervising committees and volunteers for their cooperation and commitment to ensuring a successful Ashura. On the occasion of World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, the Cabinet commended Bahrain's achievements in combating human trafficking, which received international recognition, affirming Bahrain's progressive legislation and regulations that have enhanced Bahrain's position in this regard. The meeting expressed its appreciation for the active role of the Ministry of Interior and all concerned authorities in maintaining Bahrain's Tier 1 status. The Cabinet then followed up on the preparations of the Representative Council's by-elections for the first constituency in Muharraq Governorate, which will take place on September 7, 24. 
It emphasized the importance of supporting the relevant authorities' unified efforts to ensure the election's success. It also emphasized the importance of safety procedures and components across construction sites, as well as adhering to the safety guidelines to preserve the safety of workers and the public from any life-threatening accidents. It congratulated the government and people of the UAE on the declaration of July 18th as Union Pledge Day, commemorating the historic meeting in 1971, where UAE founder, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan and other Emirates rulers signed the declaration of the Union and the UAE Constitution while announcing the official name of the UAE. It also commended the UAE's development achievements across various fields and strongly condemned the shooting incident in Al Wadi Al Kabir area of Masqat Governorate in Oman and denounced this heinous attack that goes against all religious and moral values and aims to destabilize Oman's security and stability. The cabinet then expressed its strong condemnation of the assassination attempt of former U.S. President, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump during an election rally in Pennsylvania in the U.S., which is a crime contrary to democratic principles. The cabinet then discussed and approved several memoranda, one submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to two laws and three proposed laws submitted by the Council of Representatives. Another submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Supreme Council of Health in Bahrain and the Health Insurance Review and Assessment Service in South Korea. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Education and Training Quality Authority in Bahrain and the Hong Kong Council for Accreditation of Academic and Vocational Qualifications. And another one submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Education and Training Quality Authority regarding the approval of the authority's reports. The Cabinet then reviewed two memoranda, the first submitted by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture regarding the decisions and recommendations of the Capital Municipal Council and the Municipal Councils during the second session of the sixth municipal period between September 23rd and June 24th, and the second submitted by the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture and the Ministry of Works regarding the projects funded by revenues of the Municipal Shared Resources Fund. The Cabinet then took note of the following ministerial reports. The participation in the call for action, urgent humanitarian response for Gaza. The participation in the consultative meeting on enhancing coordination on peace initiatives for Sudan. The participation in the ministerial meeting of the Asian Cooperation Dialogue. The visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs to the US. The participation in the open debate session of the UN Security Council on the situation in the Middle East, including the Palestinian issue. The official visit of the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning to China and the participation in the high-level political forum on sustainable development. The president of the Bahraini Journalists Association, Isa al shaiji stressed the importance of the Prime Minister's award in enhancing the role of the national press and motivating it to perform its noble mission in enriching the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. al shaiji said the continuous patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister for the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism affirms His Royal Highness' confidence in the national press, stressing that his patronage stems from his keenness on sharing the aspirations of journalists and enabling them to carry out their mission professionally. On the occasion of the success, the success of the eighth edition of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism, El Shaji praised the development witnessed in this edition that reflects the effective role of the national press with the addition of new categories aimed at keeping pace with development. The Institute of Public Administration has announced the launch of its new strategy for the years 2024 to 28, inaugurating its new vision under the slogan Center for Leadership, Thinking 
and Administrative Development. The Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Sheikha Dr. Rana bin Isa bin Daij al Khalifa, said that this vision aligns with the Institute's strategy to enhance administrative development and provide high level training for national cadres in Bahrain. The strategy comes with the expansion of various training services provided by the Institute after the inclusion of new curricula and materials that focus on highlighting national achievements and keeping pace with modern development in the field of training. The Supreme Committee for General Supervision of Election Safety in the first constituency of Muharraq Governorate has begun displaying the voters lists until next Saturday at the Supervisory Committee in addition to the official website. The Elections Executive Administration has started welcoming voters at the Supervisory Committee in addition to displaying the voters list on vote.ph to ensure their names are included which allows voters to check their district and request data changes without visiting the centre to ensure accurate voter data for eligibility in elections.